Okay, so this will be part two or hint number two in solving the pulley lab. Where we left off for those, for both of you guys that watched this yesterday, we were left off with, we had already calculated the tension in the string that is pulling. All right, here's our other one. Our known mass is over here, goes up and over to this one. We're not even going to consider this one today. Since now we know the tension, I'm going to just slide it over and get rid of that one. So now, we know the tension that is pulling our unknown force of tension that is pulling or making our unknown mass accelerate upwards. I can't remember what that tension is. I'm going to pretend like we solved it and it was 5 newtons. It may be different than that. Okay, that is not the only force that's acting on this, obviously. We also have the force of gravity that is pulling down. Okay, I drew this one a little bit smaller, as you can imagine. If this is accelerating upwards, then the force of tension has got to be greater than the force of weight. Just like to get Bieber to accelerate out of this world, we've got to apply a greater force than his force of weight. And this is our unknown right here. We don't know the weight. If we do, we can find the mass because the force of weight is mass of the unknown times 9.81 meters per second squared. Once we know the weight, we can solve for the mass, or if we know the mass, we can solve for the weight. Talking about a banana, we want to find the mass. Okay. So, the other thing that we found yesterday is we found that the acceleration was the acceleration of the system. That's a vector. That's a vector. I got my other vector. The acceleration of the system was 2 meters per second squared. If you're not sure how we got that, that was part of yesterday's hint. Um, you can go back and look at that. So we know our acceleration. We know our force of tension. We just need to figure out what the mass is. And so now we're basically back to the Bieber problem that we talked about in the beginning of uh, class today. We want to get this thing to accelerate at this rate. We don't know the weight. Today we didn't know the tension or the force that we had to kick him with. But we do know the acceleration. So we're going to go to Newton's second law. Newton's second law says acceleration is directly proportional to the force applied and inversely proportional to the mass of that object. We're looking for this force. This is not, although we have to be careful, this is the net force. So when we combine these two, when we sum these two forces up, and I'm going to rewrite this, our notation that I introduced in the video yesterday, the sum of the forces on, I almost wrote Bieber, the form of the on the unknown mass is going to be the force of tension minus the force of weight. And that's going to give us our net force, right? That's our net force acting on this object. Sum of the forces, tension minus weight, just like I introduced yesterday in the video. Okay, so now we're looking for, or let's start putting things in that we know. We know the acceleration is 2 meters per second per second, or whatever we calculated it to be for our banana, or whatever we found, we found for yesterday. I think it was this. I'm not sure. Um, we know that. The net force, we can substitute this right here in for the net force, because they're the same thing, the force of tension minus the force of weight. These forces are op acting in opposite directions. So we're going to subtract them. If they were both acting up, we'd add them together. Hopefully that makes sense to you. And the mass. There's our unknown. If we can get this, if we can solve for this one, that's our answer. So we've got to figure out what do we know up here. Well, let's break this one apart a little bit. And we'll say 2 meters per second squared is equal to the force of tension we know we solved for is 5 newtons 
minus. Do we know anything about the force of weight? Any any known numbers there? Well, we come back and look over here. We said, oh, the force of weight was the mass times 9.81. Mass times 9.81 meters per second squared. Because weight is mass times acceleration due to gravity divided by the mass. This is the mass of the unknown objects. We're talking about the mass of its weight that makes it gives it its weight. And this also is the mass of the unknown because we're getting that thing to accelerate at this rate. If you look at this, we now have an equation with only one variable, which is the mass. That variable is the mass of this object, which is what we're looking for. I'll leave you with that. Um, I'll let you think about it, mull it over a little bit, and we'll pick up tomorrow.